the hustle and bustle of one of West Africa's largest markets. This is Medina Market in Guinea's capital, Conakry. 30-year-old Mamadou Saliu has worked here for almost a decade as a trader, but the last two years have been difficult. Since Ebola broke out in this country, things have been different here. It's affected all businesses. Before Ebola, everyone in the market would go home with some profit at the end of the day. One didn't have to be a big trader to see a good profit margin. Our neighbors from Sierra Leone, Liberia, came here to shop. Now all we have are local customers, but even they aren't many. Ebola broke out in Guinea in December 2013 and quickly spread to Liberia and Sierra Leone. More than 2,500 people were killed in Guinea before it was declared free of the virus last December. In recent days, five new deaths have been reported in the south of the country and officials are bracing for more cases. What happened here was a failure in the surveillance system. We asked our health officials to report any Ebola-like symptoms, but that didn't happen on time, and so we had more deaths than we should have. But we are now working to correct this by ensuring there's no more deaths. We are vaccinating people around the Koropara and the villages around it. Conakry did not register many cases during the height of the epidemic, and so some here have become lax in following the preventive measures. I don't really think Ebola was a big problem. I feel it was a chance for some people to make money from it. Because when you follow it, we hear there's vaccination and some are healed. But just when it's over, it's back again. Surely. Why? The World Health Organization says that people need to change their behavior to prevent a fresh outbreak. Social and cultural traditions here helped Ebola spread rapidly. And there is concern that people are back to those old habits. Liberia has already closed its border with Guinea. We don't want to analyze the behavior of our neighbors, but we never did close our borders during the initial outbreak. Now we hear Liberia wants to reopen the borders while Mali wants to close their side. Countries make decisions as they see fit, but from our end, we will follow our science and work towards getting this thing out of Guinea once and for all. The country is currently receiving funding from international donors to help it fight the virus. Guinea is on its way to recovery from an epidemic that exposed weaknesses in its primary health care system. People here hold varied views on whether or not the government was successful in its handling of the Ebola epidemic. But one thing they agree on is that this country cannot afford another outbreak. Celestine Caroné, CCTV, in Conakry, Guinea.